A while back, me and a musician named Andrew, formerly known as Eddie Fitz, made music using deep voice gas or sulfur hexafluoride and helium. And by we, I really mean Andrew. He beatboxed and I tried to chime in and the end result was an awesome beat and amazing sounds all through science. So now Andrew is onto music producing and so we wanted to revisit the idea and sort of one up the sounds of science idea. <laughs> So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna do three science experiments and we're gonna take sound bites from each of those experiments and we're gonna layer that into individual tracks, three tracks. Then we're gonna combine those tracks for the coolest, nerdiest mashup of science and music. It's gonna be sick. Let's get started. All right, so our first sound is going to be just the unscrewing of the cap. <laughs> All right, so our second sound is going to be this really cool sound when the balloon fills up. All right, so for our third sound, we're going to get actually using the sulfur hexafluoride. So here we go. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we need to build the beat. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So what I'm thinking is we're going to need to capture a snare or a hi-hat sound. So okay. I think the best way to do that is maybe just tap on yeah, the container. Yeah, do it. Yeah. This is the bass sound. Is that right? I can really slam it. Harder. Harder. Beautiful. <laughs> That could be the snare too. We now have our sounds. Now we're gonna put it into the genius's hands and he's going to mix up a track in real time for us. So, Andrew. Oh, yeah. um, so we have this guy. This is the cap. That's the oh, cap. Oh man, see I really like that. That's a really cool percussion sound. That's a really hey, cool thanks. sound. That's cool. Yeah. I get down to that beat. is actually mixing the potassium iodide of the catalyst with water. Okay, here we go. First sound, what kind of sound would you call it, a maraca? Yeah, it's kind of like a percussion sound. Hit it a little harder. Nice. And then I'm gonna give it a shake? Oh yeah, give it a shake. Okay, so for the second step in the experiment, you just basically take the potassium iodide, get two of those, so that's four cups of water. This isn't gonna blow up in my face, is it? Not yet. Not yet, okay. Well, that's a cool percussion sound. Okay, so these are called Erlenmeyer flasks, and it's typically what we use for this experiment because it builds pressure when the reaction's happening, so we can get the elephant toothpaste to actually get some motion. So they're just kind of shaped really cool. They're kind of shaped like bells. So we're gonna fill them up with 35% hydrogen peroxide. This is the dangerous part. Safety number one priority. Make sure to wear the proper safety equipment, like our friend. <laughs> Just sounds like we're peeing. Kind of sounds like a toilet bowl. The next step is we put soap into the hydrogen peroxide, uh, roughly two teaspoons. All right, so the one of the last steps here is we're gonna need to add the food coloring. We're gonna go with green for this guy. All right, so we're gonna mix the catalyst with the 35% hydrogen peroxide with a little bit of soap and food coloring dye in it. Don't put your face over top of it or the cup because it'll split, splash back on you. And in three, two, one. Pour, 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 pour. Oh, woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Dude, that really went up fast. I did not expect. Did it. you get the sound? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I was like, oh shit! <laughs> so this is an exothermic reaction. Oh, that's hot. Sounds like rain. Yeah, it does. The soothing sounds of elephant toothpaste. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Oh, 
that's hot. Okay, for our last experiment, we're gonna be doing the liquid nitrogen super cloud. And one of the elements of this experiment is a plastic trash container, which if you turn it upside down, it's actually kind of really cool. You get this really cool bass sound like this. Oh yeah. One of the ingredients is boiling hot water. So that's what we have in this container. And I noticed that the, the container itself makes a really cool sound. We're gonna add some of this blue paint. Okay. So it makes a cool little squirty sound of which, see if I can get it to. Oh, Nick, behave. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go well with the flush sound that you had earlier. <laughs> Alright, so we're also going to add pink to the other ones. So we're going to have blue and pink. Okay. Now we're doing that as a gender reveal for Caleb's baby. hey -o. Which he knows is a girl. So... hey -o. Congrats. hey -o. Cool. Cool. The very last step for the liquid nitrogen super cloud is mixing the liquid nitrogen and the boiling hot water together. So we're going to go ahead and put in the liquid nitrogen and we're going to follow that up with boiling hot water. Three, two, one, four. Like literally the wind like did this. <laughs> that was sweet. Oh, that's hot. I got a little out of hand. I think Brandon actually tried to stab the camera, and um, I tried to. <laughs> it was fun though. Yeah, it really was, man. It was a good time. It really came together. Thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, absolutely. it. Absolutely. Where can we find you, Andrew? Uh, you can find me at my new socials. That's B E L L I N G H E A R T, Bellinghart. That's my new producer stuff. I'm going to be dropping a bunch of new content and a lot of new music very, very shortly. So check out my stuff. That was the sounds of science. We're putting all of Andrew's <laughs> links in the description below. Make sure to check him out. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you really soon.